You see, you have to be, sit down, sit down, sit down. You have to be a bit of a misfit to be a worshiper. You have to be a dislocated, disjointed, twisted, fragmented person that don't quite fit in with nobody. Can't get in the clique, can't get in the club. People don't invite you, people don't call you, people don't come to see about you. You have to be just a little bit off center to be a good worshiper. You have to turn to God because you ain't got nobody else to turn to. You got to talk to him because you don't have nobody. Touch your neighbor and tell him I got to praise him. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 I do. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. When the conference is over, I still got to praise him. When the service is out, I got to praise him. I got to praise him to make it through the night. I got to praise him to get out the bed in the morning. I got to praise him to get myself to go to work again. I got to praise him to hold my marriage together. I got to praise him so I don't lose my mind. I want to learn all I can about worship and praise. But when you teach me worship and praise, you just teach me what to call what I already been doing. I didn't know whether I was Shabakin or Halalin, but I was doing it a long time ago. I didn't know whether I was Todan or Yadan. All I knew is I was trying to make it through the night. I didn't know what to call it, but I knew how to do it. I knew how to lay on my face and call God till yokes broke, until demons broke, until hell got loose and turned my mind a loose. I learned how to lay hands on my own head and tell the devil he's a liar. Have you ever had him carry you because of what you went through? He just carried you. He did you some extra favors. People don't understand how you got what you got, but the Lord did you some favors. He knew somebody had dropped you, and when he saw them drop you, he said, I'll pick you up. And that's why there's no need in nobody getting mad when God blessed you. Because God has help for the handicapped. He'll bless you when he looks back over your life and sees what you went through and sees how you've been hurt, sees how you've been suffering, sees how you've been abused. There are certain things God did for you just because you came from a messy situation. Certain doors he opened up for you just because other folk didn't like you. When he saw that they didn't want to bless you, God compensated you. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here today. Have you ever had God do you a favor? Have you ever had God open up a door for you? Have you ever had God make a way for you? Just when folk thought you wasn't gonna never get up, just when they thought you wasn't gonna never get out, just when they just about forgotten you, won't he come down where you are and deliver you? Won't he raise you up? Won't he bring you out? Won't he set your feet on a street called straight? Somebody ought to give him a prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I understand something, and I apologize because this message is not for everybody. And there's a certain factor in the kingdom that won't be able to relate to this. All of you people that think you were supposed to be blessed, you won't understand this message. All of you folk that think you did something to get what you got, you won't understand this message. All of you folk that sit around and brag about how wonderful you are, you won't understand this message. I didn't come to preach to you. I came to talk to somebody who's been through hell and high water, been through the storm and through the rain, through heartache and pain. Your friends forsook you. The bank denied you. They turned down your application. You had to encourage yourself. You had to lift yourself up. And in spite of your past, and in spite of your childhood, and in spite of your trauma, he blessed you anyway. Put your hands together and give him the prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I'm hard to insult. I don't have to be called by a certain title. I don't have to sit in a certain seat. You don't have to play hell the chief when I come in. Whether you like me or not, I've been through so much. I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad I'm not in Lodabar anymore. I'm glad I'm not who I was. I'm glad I'm not hurting anymore. I'm glad I'm healed in my mind. I'm glad I got power over the enemy. I'm glad I got the anointing. somebody tell him I'm just glad to be here you don't have to call my name I'm just glad to be here you don't have to pat me on the back I'm just glad to be here you don't have to talk about me yeah. hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, when Mephibosheth came out of his dilemma, David told him, you're not going to have to work for it. You're not going to have to labor. You're not going to have to wrestle. Said all you got to do is sit down and the Lord is going to bless you. Reach over and shake somebody by the hand and tell them God said, Get ready, 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 get ready. Get ready. He's about to blow your mind. Get ready. He's about to raise you up because of your gratitude, because of your attitude. He's going to give you a high seat. He's going to make you the head and not the tail. Say yes. Get ready for a blessing. The anointing of the Lord is about to fall on you. The power of the Holy Ghost is about to raise you up. He's going to bless you in the face of your enemies. He's going to bless you around people who curse you. Get ready. Yeah. 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 This is all you got to do. No matter how high he takes you, keep on praising him. No matter what he gives you, keep on praising him. No matter what you got on, keep on praising him. No matter what you dry, keep on praising him. No matter where you live, keep on praising him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His prayer. 